Hey everybody, you're watching a physio named Jonah. That's this guy. In this video, I'll be reviewing Hydrogen's brand new Heat Pause Sauna Blanket 2.0, complete with the towel insert, footrest, and pillow. What's new since the original version, and what do I think of the changes? Well, stick around. Let's find out. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below if you're new around here and enjoyed today's video. I'm a Canadian physiotherapist who makes videos about the rehab and fitness world and learning about both of them. So if that interests you, you have come to the right place. A sauna blanket is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, and the heat pod is Hydrogen's take on the idea. A portable, low footprint way to get the benefits of full body heat and relaxation like you would get in a sauna without the usual drawbacks of a sauna. Primarily, cost, size, and convenience. Using the heat pod is really easy. All you have to do is just set it up where you're going to be using it, get your towel insert, footrest, and pillow set up if you're using them, plug in the control unit to the bottom of the pod and an outlet, set the temperature and time that you want with the controller, let it heat up, unzip and get into the pod, and you're done. And that's the Heat Pod 2.0 in a nutshell. Back in December of 2022, I made a video outlining the first version of the Hydrogen Heat Pod. So I'm gonna start my review portion with what my thoughts were for the first version, as well as how I feel about the updates that have come for the second version. Overall, I really enjoyed the first version of the heat pod, but there were some things that I thought could have been improved. The positioning of the controller was a bit awkward. It wasn't long enough for taller individuals not able to get as hot as a traditional sauna. Well, the head office at Hydragun obviously watched my first video, because the changes that come with the 2.0 directly affect some of the things I had noticed back in 2022. No sense in waiting to discuss this one. One of the biggest differences between the Heat Pod 2.0 and the first version is that the 2.0 gets hotter. The first teapot had a max temperature of 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Heat Pod 2 has an increased max temperature of up to 85 degrees Celsius or 185 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the comment that I'm sure any product in the sauna heat space is going to get most often, so it makes sense that if you're going to release an updated version of a sauna blanket, heat is going to be something that you're trying to maximize. The question then becomes, does a 5 degrees Celsius increase make a noticeable difference? Objectively, it gets hotter, great, but does that make a subjective difference in terms of how it feels? Now, personally, I would say yes. I did notice that the Heat Pod 2.0 warms up more than the, than the first version. I noticed that I was sweating more when I was using it, but that's obviously my personal experience and individual mileage is going to vary on that one. Now what this refers to is streamlining the controls and adding an alert slash remember last feature onto the control panel. While these are nice features to have and the controls are very easy to use, I didn't have any issues with the control scheme on the first version and I don't find the feature is something that I'm using. Unfortunately, the same setup for the control panel is back from the first model and I still just find it awkward. There's a double-ended cord that connects into the bottom of the heat pod and into the outlet and then has the control pod on it and it's functional, I just find the way that it all sits is kind of awkward and, and just a little bit clunky in terms of use. I should be noticed that I don't really find this a huge issue because I mostly just set the heat pod to max temperature uh, and then I'm just in it and not touching the control panel the whole time. But if you needed to use the controller more often, I'd have the same feelings for the second model as I did back for version one. The comfort additions for this round are increased length for taller individuals as well as a pillow footrest option. Tens across the board here, these are great additions, and in the case of the increased length, I think we're quite necessary. My little feetsies are pretty far from the end on this guy when I'm set up, so this should allow the taller folks out there to have a much more comfortable time using the 2.0. Comfort also includes the towel insert as well as pillow and footrest. They are a game changer for me in terms of how much I enjoyed using the heat pod. The towel insert more than the pillows, but both very nice. The pillows are comfortable, and the physio in me loves the good old wipeable vegan leather material, but the towel insert changed my experience of using the heat pod. Without the towel insert, you need to be fully clothed while using the heat pod, or at least it's recommended you do so when I was when using model one. With the towel insert, you can go into the heat pod in your swim trunks and your underwear, 
and I found that experience a lot more comfortable when you're going to be sweating inside of the heat pod. I think this is very, very worth it. I have really enjoyed using the towel insert this time around. It is definitely a big positive for me. So overall, what do I think of the Heat Pod 2.0? Well, professionally as a physiotherapist, my thoughts are very similar to the first time around, where this isn't the kind of thing that I'm generally prescribing to patients. It's more of a generalized full body heat, which means you're going to get generalized full body benefits, which is not normally the thing that I'm prescribing as a physical therapist treating someone who has an injury or very specific problem. I do often talk to patients about trying to find time for relaxation and like stress relief, so maybe the heat pod could be a version of somebody's me time and stress relief. My cat is having some me time stress relief over to my right. Uh, but outside of that, this is not the kind of product that I generally be prescribing as a physio. The Heat Pod 2.0 addresses the issues I have with the first model by adding an increased heat to it that is noticeable, as well as making it taller or accommodate those who are taller. The only downside I still do find is that the controller positioning is just a little awkward, but the controller is not something that I'm often really using during it, so it doesn't hinder my experience with it that much at all. I did notice that this time around using the 2.0 and being primarily in contact only with the edges through the towel, that if I touched the actual pod itself, not with the towel in between my skin and the pod, I noticed the coils getting fairly warm. Maybe that's just because I had gotten used to it with the previous version, maybe it's the increased heat, but just something I wanted to bring up. Uh, and again, another nod to the towel insert as a positive for me. I think this is a product that you already know at this point in the video, whether this is for you or not. Uh, a sauna blanket is exactly what it sounds like. The heat pod is a great version of the sauna blanket. If that's your cup of tea, awesome. But if it isn't and it doesn't sound all that appealing to you, this isn't likely going to change your mind because these are mostly what they seem on the surface. All that said, I enjoyed my time with the heat pod 2.0 and want to say thank you to Hydrogun for including me as a part of their most recent launch. I've really been enjoying over the past few years reviewing and trying out the different products from Hydrogun, so I hope you've also been enjoying as my viewers getting to check out some new things that are building in the world of rehab. If you are interested in checking out the heat pod or any of Hydrogun's other products, you can use my link that's down in the description below and get my discount applied on the purchases you make from their website. I recommend checking their website out for deals as well if you are in the market for getting one of their products because I just saw in my home country of Canada recently that they had a deal on for purchasing the heat pod and getting a free Hydrogun massage gun that comes with it which is like a $400 Canadian value and their massage gun is something that I absolutely love and use all the time so Check it out for deals if it is something that you are interested in. As always, I do want to make it clear that Hydrogen sent me their heat pod for the purposes of making today's review video, and my affiliate link down below, as with all affiliate links, does include a commission for me if you do purchase things from their website. Feel free to let me know in the comments section down below if you have any questions, any thoughts. I do my best to stay on top of things. I haven't been the best in the past few months as I'm adjusting to parenting, but I promise I'm going to be trying to do better and getting more content out in the next little bit, so I look forward to chatting and interacting with you guys more soon. But most importantly, as always, move your body, have a laugh today, and I will see you at the next video.